Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize Google Chrome for different screen resolutions. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome and inside Google search, we're going to type in Windows resize our Chrome extension. We're going to click here and we're going to install this particular um, Chrome extension. We'll click add to Chrome and then we'll click add extension and it will pop up here in the corner. We need to close it and then click on the little uh, puzzle icon here and then we'll scroll down and we should find it in here, Windows Resizer, and then we'll click on the little pin icon and that will pin it to the top of the taskbar up here. And then we can go to any website. So typically I use this when I'm working on my own website projects or projects for clients. And I wanna see how does the website respond to different types of resolutions. So right now my monitor is set to 1920 by 1080, right? HD resolution. So if we just minimize this, right click on the desktop, display settings, you can see that it's set to 1920 by 1080. I can run a high resolution, which is my ultra wide, but when I'm making video tutorials, I run them at 1920 by 1080, because that's the best resolution for people to view my content on YouTube. But if I open up um, Chrome again, and looking at my website, I can see it looks perfectly fine at this particular resolution, right? It looks pretty good. But then we can click on this little icon and we can start to um, change the resolution. So we can look at 1440 by 900. So that's like a laptop size, right? So when we click on that, it will resize the website the, or the, the, the Chrome window to the, exactly that size. So now when we scroll down the page, we can see how would it look like on a typical uh, laptop resolution, right? Or some laptops may be using this particular resolution. Then we can look at it on an iPad. So this is 1024 by 768. Now we can see how does the website respond to iPad. And you can see the navigation has changed now to the burger box navigation, whereas previously on the, la on the uh, laptop version, it was using the full text the navigation across the top so we can see that when we move to ipad it's going to switch to a different navigation style so we can check the content here we can see how it looks and this is not the most accurate representation of the content it's always worth checking your content on specific devices if you have access to them so if you've got an iphone or an android phone or a tablet device you should always really check it on the physical device itself but this gives you at least a good representation of how your website is going to respond for those different resolutions solutions such as an iPhone for example so now we can see how does it look like on a typical iPhone resolution does it still the layout looks still good and does it still make sense how the content is structured on the page and then that was an iPhone uh, 6 I believe let's see iPhone uh, 6 and then we can go all the way down to an iPhone 5 and now you can see how it responds with an iPhone 5 and you can check your navigation and make sure everything is functioning the way that you expect it to function and this all seems good as well right so it's looking pretty good i'm quite happy with uh the way it's all functioning on these different resolutions so let's go back to the full screen resolution and here we can see at its native desktop 1080p resolution so I always use this tool to go and test other websites as well so when i go to my portfolio if i'm looking at maybe building an e-commerce store for a client so this is one that i recently completed this is like for baby products we can click here and then we can see the website on this resolution and always go and give it a quick check on different devices and different resolutions to make sure everything is still functioning correctly okay let's go ahead and close this down that's a google chrome resize tool to check your website pages on different screen resolutions i think you should do that during web development just to tidy up any little bugs or any little problems during the development process okay hopefully you found this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial